mining moon. Gotcha. That. Welcome back lads to Proud to be Irish. I'm your host Carl Gumley and I am proud to be Irish. So I'm welcoming you back now on the Easter weekend and I'm planning to have this video up by Sunday, Easter Sunday. Now I'm here to give you a couple of facts now about um, Easter that you might have never heard about. I got my egg here. Nice Cadbury cream egg ready for me for tomorrow. Um, here by myself this weekend, so I might hide it for myself so I can find it. You know, what's Easter Sunday without finding an egg? You know what I mean. Um, so yes, I've got some facts here, and let's just get straight into it, shall we? So we've got fact number one, and that is. Eggs have been seen as an ancient symbol of fertility. Yes, that's right. Well, springtime is considered to bring new life and rebirth. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Fact number two. Did you know that Americans spend about $1.9 billion on Easter candy? That is the second biggest candy holiday after Halloween. I'll say no more. Fact number three. 70% of Easter candy purchased is chocolate. Uh, well, actually, I presumed that would have been higher as chocolate is the only thing I eat around Easter. I don't eat any other type of sweet, so I don't know what the Americans are eating, but I'm just eating chocolate. I've never heard of any other chocolate or any other sweet apart from that. So, Fact number four. 76% of Americans think that ears of a chocolate bunny should be the first thing that's eaten. I don't know. I just eat whatever part is open first. I mean, chocolate's chocolate. I mean, I know it must be a tradition of theirs, but I have no idea. So, I don't know. Fact number five. 80 million chocolate Easter eggs are sold each year. This accounts for, I think it's 10% of Britain's annual spending on chocolate a year. Okay, I'm looking at this a different way. So, 80 million chocolate eggs are sold yearly, right. That only counts to 10% of Britain's annual chocolate consumption now to me that is a small percentage so how much chocolate do the english eat i'm surprised they're not fucking fatter to be honest like i mean if i ate 10 percent if ireland had 10 percent of that we'd be fucking fat I, I just i can't wrap my head around that can you i mean 80 million chocolate eggs. Okay, now it doesn't say how big they are, if they're this big or if they're tiny little things like like this. I mean, I don't know how big the eggs are, but I just can't wrap my head around the mats, so I don't know. Fact number six. I hope this is number six. I, I've lost track of how many facts. I'm going to, anyway, put it down on the screen. So, I'm just going to say next fact because I forget where I am. Right, next fact. Did you know the tradition of giving eggs was actually um, traced back to the Egyptians, uh, Persians, Gauls, Greeks, and the Romans, uh, who saw the egg as a symbol of life? Well, I, you know, I, I see where they're coming from, you know? Because... 
a woman. Okay, I'm just thinking of the reproductive system. I don't know how old my viewers are, so I'm just going to say, think of the reproductive system, and I completely understand where they're coming from. So I'm moving on, next one then. Medieval Easter eggs. Give a guess what they were made of. Just give a guess. They were boiled eggs with onions. To give them a golden sheen, Edward the First, however, went one better and in ninety or sorry, twelve ninety he ordered four hundred and fifty eggs to be covered in gold leaf and given as Easter gifts. Mm, there you go. Next one. In medieval times, by medieval times, the priest in church would have the choir boys toss around an egg to one another. And the last person that was holding it, when the clock struck 12, was the winner. Nah, you didn't know that, did you? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If it was me, I would have been like, what do I win? Do I, do I win like a year's supply of... Of Jesus' body or anything? I don't know. I would have been asking for something, or at least half of the donations of what was given out for that day, you know, collected. Then we'll move on to the next one. The first chocolate Easter egg was produced in 1873 by Fries. For those of you who don't know who Fries is, Fries is a producer of chocolate, and I'm telling you now, their chocolate is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And before this, people would uh, give hollowed cardboard eggs and fill them with treats uh, or gifts or whatever you want to fill them with. But that's how they used to do it before then. So, you know, we can thank Fries for that. So the next one then, John Cadbury soon followed suit and made his first Cadbury egg uh, in 1875. And then in 1892... Uh, the company was then producing 19 different eggs. All dark chocolate. See, I'm not a fan of dark chocolate, to be honest. I'm, I, I'm more of the, the uh, uh, milk chocolate, you know what I mean? Or white chocolate. I hate bitter chocolate. It's the most horriblest of things you can eat. And then we'll move on to the next one. And we'll go to the Germans this time. You know, I'm living in Germany, I have to throw in a German one. So, the famous crocodile, alright, that is the brand of chocolate, whatever. Uh, finish that you see on Easter eggs comes from Germany and was originally designed to cover up cracks in the eggs that uh, were finished after the production line. Uh, so, they used the um, crocodile symbol to cover them up for any imperfections. And uh, we thought, I just... And we thought it was just to make it look pretty, you know what I mean? But yeah, no, that's that's why the crocodile symbol is on it. It's cover up any imperfections. And then we shall move on. The world's largest Easter egg was actually made in Belgium. And the producer was, his name was Gillian. And it was made in 2005. Yeah? The egg measured about... 8.3 meters high and took 26 craftsmen 525 hours to build it. It weighed 1,950 kilograms. Now that to me is a shit ton of chocolate. Oh man, I would devour that in no time. And uh, the chocolate was used and the egg was displayed in the city of Saint Nicholas in Belgium. And that sucks because I was in Belgium there not so long ago and if I knew that I would have actually gone to visit it because that is one thing I would have liked to see. I mean I've seen the dinosaur museum and all these but uh, I would have liked to see the chocolate egg because I am an absolute chocolate-holic. No Cadbury cream eggs since I've got my Cadbury cream egg right here. You know the Cadbury cream eggs with the fillings, the white fillings or caramel fillings. Guess when they were made? Type down the comment, let me know what you think. And here we are. It was invented in 
23. I didn't think it was that old, to be honest. I thought it was like max, max 60s, you know what I mean? But 1923, that is a hell of a long time ago. And I tell you, no wonder it tastes so good they perfected it, you know what I mean? I cannot wait to devour this guy. No, 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 no. Right, let's continue on. So, um, every year more than 80 million uh, box eggs are sold. Yes, that is right. And then we'll move on. In a typical year, 150 million pounds is spent on shell eggs. Now, when, when they say shell eggs, it actually means like uh, the hollowed eggs. The big ones you get here, like the, the, the big one, you know, not the small little ones, but the actual big chocolate ones that have nothing in it. Um, well, some of them, they're also talking about the ones that have something in it. Um, but like it's hollow inside, but they could have like smarties or they could have like small little eggs inside it or something. But now that's what they're talking about, something that has like a, a, a cavity inside it, you know what I mean? Right, then uh, enough shiting on about that. Um, 70 million pounds is spent on Cadbury cream eggs a year. I don't know how John Cadbury did that. I mean, he must be swimming in money. Fucking hell, like. Well, I've got a good one because I absolutely love Cadbury cream eggs. So I do. So I do. If I could, I'd eat 10 a day. But I'd be broke. So, enough Cadbury cream eggs have been, are made uh, in Birmingham. That's where the producer is in uh, England um, every year to make a pile 10 times higher than Mount Everest if you stack them on top of one another. Yeah, that, 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 that's a lot of eggs. That is a lot, a lot, a lot of eggs. Even in a lifetime, I don't need that many. I'd give it a go. I, don't get me wrong, I'd give it a go. But I would probably die of a fucking heart attack, so I would. Right, now enough thinking about that orgasmic sight or thought. Right, um, one in every three shelled eggs, come back to shelled eggs, the hollowed cavity one. One in every three shelled eggs that is bought in um, uh, the UK at Easter is actually a Cadbury chocolate um, egg made uh, in Birmingham uh, by Bourneville. That is the manufacturer, um, Bourneville. Um, the, the, the actual Bourneville uh, chocolate that's actually named Bourneville is shite because it's dark chocolate and I hate bitter dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. I, I like the milk one. So the rest of it is nice, like the, the, the milk one or the white one, anyway. I keep going off topic, but uh, right, I'm just in a happy mood, can't wait to eat me egg. So then, um, on average, a child in the UK will get an average of 8.8 .8 eggs this year. I've only got one! The max, 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 max I've ever received of the Easter Bunny was four. Who the hell goes out and buys more than that for themselves? Or even, who deserves to get that many of the Easter Bunny? Like, you know, I mean, I'm not even greedy at Christmas asking Santa Claus for that much. I feel bad. Oh, our youth has gone to hell. Why are we not also obese? So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button because that helps out tremendously. I know a lot of YouTubers are saying this lately, but seriously, though, if the more likes we get, the more 
our videos show up on other people's, the more people that watch. I know it seems like we're begging, but at the end of the day, I mean, I I love doing this as a hobby, you know, it's a hobby for me, and a lot of YouTubers do this as a job, you know, and if you just take one second of this video, just, just even when you're watching it, just to press the like button, I mean, even watching this now, you could have pressed it like 20 times, but it helps us out a lot, so please like, subscribe, and if you've got something to say, drop it down in the comment section, I will read it, and I will see you next time. Thanks for you guys for watching and slaunch. Yeah.